Hello all. So in this tutorial we'll model railway tracks in 3ds Max. So let's get started. So very first of all, let's take a plane over here. After that, let's take a box right on the top view over here. After taking a box, just scale it. Just push it up, convert to editable poly. Let's go into this and let's use a swift loop over here and here. Let's go into the edges, just push this a bit down, select this polygon and this polygon let's go over here and let's give a bit of extrude over here so now select this edges and this edges over here and let's give a bit of chamfer so let's give a bit of chamfer to it and click ok and let's just scale it after this is done let's go to the top view select this vertices now let's add some loops into it so let's select this edge ring it and let's give some connect over here and click ok just push this down go to the top view press shift and make a copy of it after making a copy of it let's again go to the top view and let's take a box over here so after taking a box just push this box down just push this up select this convert to editable poly go to the top view let's add one swift loop over here one over here one at the center one over here one over here so make sure you are adjusting it over here select this edges push this down select this edges and this edges and push it up so once you are done with it just push this up again select this vertices and just push this down after that push that up let's go on to this view over here let's take a line tool just drag a line over here just make this shape just drag this line over here go into the vertices push this up push this up and go into rendering enable in viewport and make it as 
rectangle increase this so you can just increase its width over here a bit not much but you can increase its width push this out go into this take a cylinder so just push make it straight take a cylinder auto grade it go into this view over here and make a cylinder reduce its segments over here just drag this over here scale it push this like this so make a copy of it select this and mirror it copy it in x axis and just push it over here in this way. so select this all again and make one more copy of it over here and drag it in this way so let's go to the top view over here select this excluding this press shift and drag and make a copy of it so just just duplicate it and make a copy of it and delete this so once you are done with this so you can just push this over here push this out over here So select this over here and you can again make a copy of it by pressing shift and drag to make one more copy. Scale this. So select this all and if you want you can just give a bend over here you can just give a bend modifier for this tracks over here so let's just give a color to it convert to editable poly and push this over here that's it so just select this go into material so we can just give a normal material that's your standard material over here and increase its specular level that's your shine over here so that's it so as you can see over here we have uh, generated such kind of details over here that's it
सो थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस टूटोरियल